guys, so today is going to... Alright, I'll stop. Today is going to... Today is going to be a video, uh, it's going to be basically like a Jaguar update slash us towing the Jaguar to Adams and seeing Adam and stuff. It's going to be like a vlog day, but today's main theme is going to be the Jaguar. Uh, it's kind of like an update, basically, um, as much as I want to work on the Jaguar, as much as I want to uh, start progress on it, basically I'm going to have to take a motor, you know, whenever I do find a 5.3 or whatever, maybe just standard LS, whatever Chevrolet LS series motor that I want. I'm gonna need to rebuild it and refresh it anyway, so that's gonna be the first step of the project. So this car isn't gonna be touched for at least another couple of months. Right now it's in the way, we all have too many cars here. So the plan is to take it over to Adam's warehouse. I'm gonna, he's gonna let me store it there for now so it's out of the way and we can kind of free up some room here because I have four cars and it's not quite fair to my roommates. So we're gonna try to, the last time we moved this thing, it was a nightmare, so. I, and we had more people. And we had more people, so. Um, Basically the rear tires are flat and that's the biggest issue we're having right now. So we're gonna try to jack it up, see if we can get the bead to pop on or something. So this is that's gonna the plan. Suck. <laughs> we got this, dude, we got this. What a little tiny tire. I just thought about that. All right, the uh, tires are full of air. We got them up to 50 PSI. We were able to get the rears to seat by jacking the car up because uh, when they are sitting on the ground, they just weren't seating at all when we tried to put air in them last time. Still gonna suck, but it should be a bit easier than it was before. So, wish us luck. Okay, that's about as far up as we could get it pushing. We're gonna have to ratchet strap it the rest of the way up. Whew. Professional tow location, because I know this shit's gonna break down on you. Alcatraz. That was a lot of effort, actually. I need some Taco Bell. No, no, yes. we had that this morning. Exactly, it's amazing. No. Okay, so now we just gotta shut it down, head over to Adams, and then go from there. Never ask Adam if he needs anything from Wawa. Again, never Ever, again. Never again will I do that. While I'm here, I figured I'd uh, get a quick little uh, solo sesh on the uh, ramp because 
I like, never get to ride it because I get off work as the sun goes down pretty much. So they're all done riding by the time I get off work, so I can't. Sad. Give a like to this video if you want Taylor to fall on this bike. That's <laughs> kind of mean. That's pretty mean. That's really but I'll, mean. I'm gonna I'm gonna like it. I just I don't want you to get hurt. I just want to laugh. Come on. True story. I've never been on a ramp or a skating thing or any of this stuff. This is my first time on a ramp. <laughs> on a ramp. This is a, this this is called right a ramp. Yeah. True story. First time. Too high? I just turned too much. All right, I'm done. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Why? Like the best part's over there. Like this hip, blasting that quarter, so it's all wet. And I can't see anything. It's that just way. a little water, bro. You I, got this. I can't see anything that way. Why? Because the ramp. Is Sunglasses. Cool. All right, let's go. See all those crappy cars? You Black see them? Crappy cars everywhere. Oh, crappy, crappy. Oh, that's where it's at right there. Look at that. VIP. Thanks again, Adam. Yeah, no You're so it sweet. I, don't I was gonna wash it before I took it over there, so like preserve the paint, but I didn't have time. There's a hose there. So okay, if you ever so, wanna stop by and wash perfect, it, you can. Perfect. Um, I think the keys are in the house. I'm just trying to grab them. Okay. Yo, this looks so cool. <laughs> Goodbye, Adam. I love oh my God, I love You're you too. Thank guy. you so much. Oh, Goodbye. I, know I love your presence. I do. Me too. <laughs> Goodbye. All right. Goodbye, everybody. Which manifold? Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye, Taylor. Goodbye. Goodbye. Wait, no. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Put the window up. Don't forget to put the window up. That's what I'm doing. Oh, okay. I thought you were taking the battery out or disconnecting it. No, I was just reconnecting it. I Goodbye, for now, just for now, goodbye, goodbye. It looks like a sad dead goodbye. catfish. It does, it looks very sad right there. And the sun, you couldn't even put it in the shade. You're such a horrible owner. <laughs> Poor con. So Jack soon, just not right now. Marco's been texting this whole time, hasn't he? Everybody's uh, This is what I deal with on a daily basis. Everybody guys. on Facebook is uh, saying that I got him hooked on Cholula, but they have no idea that you got me hooked on Cholula. Oh, yeah, I know. That's Everyone right. thinks Marco got them. Marco's the originator of the Cholula love and obsession, but I am, surprisingly, even though I'm not Spanish. It's funny. Uh, so anyway, uh, we're continuing on with the evening. We left for two minutes and they basically finished everything. Oh, you guys even took this stuff off? All oh, the fans, the fans. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah.
Where? Where is the fan hitting? Those, How's those fans? Lay down, bro. It's awesome. Oh, oh that's a long one. I don't feel it, Marco. Wait till it's gonna start. I'll wait. It's coming. I'm waiting. Just be patient. I'm waiting. Where the shell things? Here. You're crazy. I'm not. I swear it works. You're wrong. All right, I got about like. 10, 15 minutes of sunlight. The Corvette is filthy from the drift events. I'm gonna try to just quickly wash it off. Yay, the Corvette's all washed. It feels so good to take the time to wash this thing as often as possible. The Miata is sitting over here, broken, broken turbo. So let's get into that. All right, I know today's video is a little different, but we did get something done, it was productive. We did get the Jag taken over to Adam. So why did we take the Jag over to Adam's? The main reason is, um, Basically what I need to do to the car, I'm not gonna be able to do anytime soon. Um, I've still got the Corvette to focus on uh, and, and I've got some other things in front of it. So I'm just going by through each one, plan by plan, uh, step, each car plans step by step. Okay, so Jag is gonna be at Adams for now. It's just gonna kind of be pushed to the back burner for right now. Um, the goal will be to get the suspension fully sorted on the Corvette, get angle fully sorted on the Corvette, handbrake, seats, and cage, and have the Corvette where I want it to be. Motor's still holding up everything that there. Make sure that it's gonna be reliable as a drift car, and kinda like solid, checked off, good to go. The Miata, all we gotta do is fix the turbo. That's pretty simple, and then it's just gonna get parked. Um, I've put enough break-in miles on it now to not have to worry about the next person really messing it up. They just need to be diligent about oil changes. So that's the plan for the Miata. I, I'm going to change the oil again and I'll probably have to drive it around a little more, change the oil again, um, and then park it after the turbo is done and everything and we make sure the tune's still good, blah, 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 blah. Uh, park it, get the raffle going, get that all sorted. Miata gone. And then the G20, I still want to sell. I was going to keep it as like a backup daily. But I still want to sell it because I want to get something else to take the G20 spot while I'm doing the Jag because I think the Jag is a little bit longer term project than I anticipated originally when I got it thinking I was just going to swap another stock motor into it. And I want it to be that longer term project. I don't want to rush it and just hack it together and get it done. Um, I, I want to take my time on it and keep it nice and, and make it proper and not take shortcuts and, and really make it a nice car. So I'm kind of okay with that one being pushed to the wayside if that makes any sense. So for right now, that's the plan. Uh, sell the G20, possibly find another daily, maybe a Grom. I don't know, I'm really up in the air on that. Get the Corvette sorted, get the Miata gone, and then we can work on the Jag. So that's pretty much an update. That's what's in my head right now. I'm sure it will change in like a week. Hopefully not. I'm just kind of trying to stick to that. If you guys have any input or suggestions uh, on that plan, let me know. Let me know what you think. Uh, the main, reason, the main reason for not doing the Jag right now is just money and time. If I start dedicating my money and time to it and I buy a motor for it and I've got all that done and then the motor blows in this thing, then that means I'm not drifting until I get the Jag done. And uh, I, I'm ha so happy if you saw the drift event video, you'd see how happy I was to be able to drive the event and just drive and not, not have any issues, not have the car break, not be constantly fighting it and not even be worrying about it. And I just want to keep doing that. I want to keep driving and, and having fun at events. So uh, Corvette is really my number one priority right now after the Miata. I'm thinking to myself now too. So anyway, let me know what you think. Let me know what your thoughts are on my plans. So thank you guys for watching. Thanks for subscribing and I will see you this next time.